All right guys, what is up? Lux here from The Emity Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. This video, I'm going to show you what is in my backpack. And I guess if I need to make a video about that, I kind of need a... All right, so now we can make a video. So let's get to the intro. Alright guys, so what is going on? I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, whatever day it is. Um, today I am going to show you what is inside this backpack. I haven't looked in a while, it's kind of heavy. Um, so it's going to be a surprise for you and for me. Um, <laughs> but it's been a video that was requested in one of the comment sections. Like, look, show me what's inside your school bag. What do you keep with you as your daily essentials? And so I'll show you, um, a lot of it is more of my techie stuff, uh, but there are some school stuff in here. So let's go from big to small and then we'll go from there. I feel like I'm opening like, you know, a trick or treat bag or something. So the first thing that almost everybody has in their backpack is their laptop. Um, I broke my original laptop my first year in med school, sad life. And so uh, I went with a budget option that still was high functioning. So I will link all the tech stuff down below, but one terabyte, eight gigs of memory, touch screen, and less than $500. Um, great laptop, really enjoy it. Um, I will show a piece of technology which will reveal that I actually kind of broke the laptop and I'll show it now. So this is my wireless keyboard and the reason I have this is I spilled water on my keyboard and because I use my laptop on a daily basis for blogging uh, and video editing, I haven't had a time to take a day away to have somebody fix it or a couple of days. So I've been essentially just putting this on my broken keyboard and typing away, but it does the job. So I have a wireless keyboard um, on my thing. It also makes my desk set up really nice because I can use that instead of my laptop. I have a wireless mouse. Again, all this will link below. I have a bunch of charges and stuff, but let me show you where the holy grail of my med school experience lies. Ah. All right, so my iPad mini this is given as a gift, has been one of my biggest lifesavers in med school. When I got this, I stopped using my laptop aside from stuff for the MD journey. Um, I'll make a difference, it's a whole nother story in itself. But this thing, I'm pretty much uh, giving credit for me getting honors on my family medicine rotation. Because every time I'd see a patient and before I'd leave, I was like, I have no idea how to treat, you know, an ear infection. This is like me at the start of my third year rotations. I would just quickly open this up, type in ear infection treatments, walk out looking like a semi-boss because I need the top three treatments on up to date. I'll make another video on all the, the apps that I use, but if you can afford one of these, um, highly recommend. They fit in your white coat, nicely sit in. Um, you can obviously do flashcards like Anki in here, uh, emails, personal tasks, type, take notes, lots of great functions. So if you can afford these, I'll link the one that I have in the description below and I'll make a different video on how I utilize this to be as effective as possible. Um, but I just love my iPad mini so much. I also read every single day on this, um, gone away from physical books. So just such a versatile tool. Um, honestly, if I didn't have to do video editing or anything for the blog, this is all I would use. So iPad, tablet, whatever you can, if you can afford it, highly recommend it. Um, still getting in the bigger section. So uh, I made a video, uh, plug here about how I keep up to date uh, with medicine. Every single day there's literally new stuff coming out and you're still trying to learn new, uh, old information and you also kind of have to keep up with things that are coming out and, uh, and research. So I keep uh, whatever the recent episode or uh, edition uh, issue of the New England Journal of Medicine and if I have some downtime I'll quickly just flip to an article. Again, I'll refer that to that video and show you like how many of these I read in a month, how many I suggest you do, uh, and I'll give you a nice like step-by-step -step, um, platform. In addition, I have a folder with my name on it. And really all I keep in this folder is blank pieces of paper. Um, in another video, which I'll also link below, uh, this is just gonna be link galore today. Um, I really talk about using a technique called a brain dump, which probably not the most flattering name, but it is my technique of using a blank piece of paper and being able to quickly visualize how much or how little of a topic I understand. So I like to have blank pieces of paper. It's also, I enjoy planning on blank pieces of paper versus like a planner. Um, so that's that. 
I got chargers. I need that for now. Ooh, you guys are gonna like this. Look at my friend. You think he's just a, a Lego man? Nope. It's kind of, he's a USB, guys. He is a USB. So this is given to me by my fiance. Uh, and <laughs> I have a lot of flash drives, by the way. But this guy is pretty cool because, you know, you can, he's a freaking dock. I have a dock USB. Um, so that's cool. Um, have like a, you know, a very secure USB, another USB. My lanyard with my ID has one. Ooh, another one and <laughs> another one. I'm pretty sure I have like a laptop's worth of memory right there. I don't know, maybe in case I lose the first four, I have a fifth one. Let's see what else I got. Ooh, okay. So I have one of these little uh, buffs. Again, I'll link this in the description. But this is a really useful uh, tool for especially new med students. So I haven't really used this very much um, towards the latter part. But it has like a Snellen chart. Um, it has some very basic uh, things like ACLS algorithms. So things that you just know you need to understand uh, during your rotations, but you may not know. So like lab values, uh, I'll put that real quick. But like understanding what normals is, uh, especially when you're first starting out. So this is a good thing. I think it's like a maybe less than four bucks. I uh, can't imagine being more than that. So I'll link it down below in the description. It's a good thing to have, um, just to kind of refer to. I have lots of pens too, guys. You understand how big of a dork I am? I think real nerds understand what pens they love. So I love these like Pilot G2 pens. Uh, if you're with me, like give a like to this video or comment down below and be like, yeah, pen life. I got another one and another one. Because uh, if any of my friends take my G2 pens, we're not friends anymore. So that's that. Other things I have, I have some medical equipment in my backpack, but most of them I leave in my car. Like my stethoscope, I leave in my passenger seat because I always don't want to forget it in my backpack or forget my backpack at home for whatever reason. Um, and so it's always there in case I need it. But things that you always, don't always need, like a, a reflex hammer is a really high quality one. It's great. Uh, it's better than those cheaper, cheap looking like pizza slice ones. Um, and it doesn't cost very much. So I'll link it down, down in the description below too. Uh, but it's nice to have, especially if you have a neuro patient and you just do reflexes and actually are really effective. This backpack is also very nice. I'll link this down below in the description, but it just carries so much. I have my water bottle, 32 ounces. I love this water bottle so much. I try to drink two to three of these a day. Um, and it's not fat, so it fits nicely in my section. So I think that's it for that one, aside from some miscellaneous stuff. So let's keep moving. So I carry Advil, um, not for myself really, but I feel like people around me are always having headaches. And so I have a case for my glasses. I don't really wear contacts very often. You guys have probably not seen me with contacts, um, but I have a case just in there. So keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, so now let me show you some of the other big hitting tech that I have that I just absolutely love. Um, so the first one I'm wearing it right now are these Bose headphones. I'll link them below. They were a gift uh, and these are total life changers. I, I've had numerous sets of headphones that I bought at Amazon for like 19, 20 bucks. I thought they were good enough. And then you get something like this and it just totally changes your life. Uh, makes settings so much easier. Most of my videos, you probably see me wear this one or you see the big boss which comes in a very nice case. Um, again, I'll link this down below. I never understood noise canceling uh, or how helpful noise canceling would be in med school, but I'm pretty sure I can't even hear myself talk. So I look like a rapper, but you know. <laughs> so these are amazing, uh, really high quality, last for a long time uh, without a charge, um, super durable, and they're just fantastic for studying, um, for working on, video editing. I just love those headphones. So I'll link those down below. I also carry a power bank. Um, make sure my phone doesn't die, my iPad doesn't die, and I have all the cables in my backpack as well. My phone, which is recording right now, is a OnePlus 6. Um, also, absolutely love the phone. Um, just as good, if not better, than iPhone X for half to a third of the cost. So highly recommend you guys check it out. But otherwise, guys, I think the rest of this kind of just boring, like pen lights and more G2 pens because you can never have enough. Um, but I, I carry a lot of technology around with me because I work on uh, not only school stuff, but stuff for the blog, stuff for the vlogs, and um, carrying some medicine stuff, you know, journals, uh, flash drives, 
but nothing glorious. Uh, everyone has their unique styles to their bag. Other things that I do carry that I took out today are things like my uh, workout gloves, um, my elbow sleeves. So usually I put my workout clothes uh, in my backpack as well. I do have a gym bag, but just in case, sometimes you just want to carry one nice thing and take it. So this is big enough to carry laptop, uh, iPad, um, chargers, workout clothes, shoes, a water bottle. Uh, so I highly recommend this backpack if you guys can get it. It's pretty nice and slim. Uh, but that's it for my backpack video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed everything that's inside. Now you get to see how big of a hoarder I am with little things like this. Um, but that's my little uh, piece of my life that you guys will now know. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Comment below with what's inside your backpack. I'm um, really interested on in what you have that I don't or vice versa. Um, I can predict what I have that you guys probably don't, um, especially this guy. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna stop babbling. If you, again, if you enjoyed the video, like the videos, subscribe to the channel, join the community, uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, my friends.